Now let's get back to story time with Suhaila. And while they were still talking, they heard the sound of Billy the Bull. <coughs> then the lion looked at his new friend, his new advisor, and asked, What do you think of that sound? What kind of creature is that? Should I be concerned? Damon said to the king, Don't worry. This is probably a creature that is so big, but is so empty. It doesn't mean anything if you hear a loud voice. A loud voice could come from anything. But you see, your majesty, loud things do not always offer anything of substance. Sometimes they are just loud, but empty on the inside. Your voice is the real thing, my king. Your roar is loud, but it is backed up by a real strong, powerful animal. This creature cannot compare to you. Don't worry and have no fear. I don't think this voice is coming from something that could hurt you. Then the king, the lion, says, That sounds good, my dear wazir, my advisor. However, I still must protect my kingdom against any threat. I must be sure that creature is not a threat. Then the fox demon said again to himself, This is my chance. He said to the king, would you give me permission to go and talk to this creature? See what is going on with him and come back and report to you my opinion of what you should do about him. The king told him, go ahead and hurry. I will be waiting for you to return. And after a while, Damon came back and he told the king, Oh, your majesty, May Allah bless you and keep you as king of this forest. I found a bull. His name is Billy. I talked to him, and I found that he is a humble bull, and he has no friends. He has nobody behind him to support him. I looked into his affairs, and I watched him for a while, and I don't think that he could be any trouble to you in your kingdom. In fact, he is looking for a job. Maybe you can use him for some work around the kingdom. And he already told me he fears lions. So there is nothing for you to worry about. What do you think? The lion said, Why don't you go and bring him to me? So the fox went to Billy the Bull and told him about the king's invitation. And he brought him to the king, and the king liked Billy. And they became good friends. He became very, very close friends with him, so much that Damon became jealous. He used to be the close friend to the king. He was the one who used to sit and talk with the king and exchange stories and give him advice. But now, Billy the Bull is taking his place, and that made him really, really angry. So he went back to his fox den and said to his sister Duna, I'm worried about this relationship between the king and Billy the Bull. I don't like it, and I'm going to break it up, because he took my place as the king's friend. Duna said, Oh, my brother, I advise you, do not do that for the sake of your safety. Damon said, I'm going to take back my place with the king. Duna said, I'm worried about you, brother. You should not betray your friends. 
The bull trusted you. The king trusted you. So much that he made you his wazir. Now you are going to make trouble. You should not betray the trust of those who give it to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like those who betray the amana, the trust of others. He does not like backbiting and conniving. You think you are smart, but you are not smarter than Allah. He sees what you are doing and your evil plan. Your backbiting will come back and bite you. Damon says, Oh, sister, whatever. I don't care about that religious stuff you are saying. I'm going to get rid of that bull. I was the one who introduced him to the king. He wasn't supposed to become his best friend. I'm going to break up this relationship and trick the king into eating up this simple-minded bull. Oh, tweet, tweet, that demon is shaitan. Yes, tweet, tweet, he is a kafir. He refuses to believe in Allah and his punishment. This is true. And you know what? What? Remember Kyle the raven? Yes, Tweet Tweet. He is the one who helped Billy before. Yep. Damon the fox didn't know that when he was telling his sister his evil plan, Kyle the raven was flying over the fox's den and heard everything he said. Oh, oh, Tweet Tweet. So what happened? Did he Tweet Tweet tell the king? Tweet Tweet. Well, here is how the story ends. So, Damon went to the king with more lies. He said, My majesty, the bull is not your friend, really. He is just pretending. He is planning something bad to take your kingdom. I heard him. He is getting all of his supporters around him and he is going to attack you when you are alone in your office. He is going to come sneak up on you and kill you. The lion was shocked and said, No way! He is my friend. He wouldn't do that. And then Damon said, I know, I know. I was the one who brought him to you. He fooled me too. I thought he was a kind and harmless bull, but he's not. I advise you to take care, my king. When he comes in and is wagging his tail around, that's when you know he is going to attack. So be careful, my king. Get him before he gets you. Then the king said, Ya Rab, I can't believe this. Billy the Bull wants to kill me and take my kingdom away from me? Well, I'm going to be ready for this fight, and I'm going to show him who is king. Then Damon went to the bull, and he said to him, You are my friend, and you know how much I like you. You know I am the one who brought you to this palace and introduced you to the king. The bull said, Yes, I know. You are a really good friend. And the fox said, Well, I think now you are going to be in trouble. I think the king is going to kill you. The bull said, What? There is no way. Yes, he told me. He is going to kill you and eat you because he said you are a bad friend. I heard him saying that to the other animals in the palace. Poor Billy the Bull, he started getting really worried and scared and nervous. And what do bulls do when they get nervous and scared? They tweet, tweet, wag their tails. 
Yep. So the next day, the bull went to try to talk to the king to see if he could find out what the problem was so that they could be friends again. So when he got to the palace, Damon was there too, and poor Billy the bull walked nervously, wagging his tail up to the king. And Damon said to himself, This is it. It's time to get rid of this simple-minded bull once and for all. I will soon be the king's best friend again. He knew that as soon as the king saw the bull wagging his tail, he would attack him any second now. But that didn't happen. No, tweet, tweet. Why not, tweet, tweet? Because the night before, Kyle the raven, who was worried about his friend Billy the bull, flew over the palace and met with the lion, the king, and told him everything about Damon's evil plan. And instead of attacking Billy the bull, the lion jumped on Damon, the evil fox, and ate him for lunch. Oh, oh. a law's justice, tweet, tweet. You cannot fool Allah, cause he is always watching. And he will always send his good creatures, like Kyle the raven, to help bring justice. That tweet tweet shaitan Damon thought that Billy didn't have any other friends. That's right, tweet tweet. Kyle was a good friend. He sure was. And... Duna was a good Muslim for trying to give good advice to her brother. And the king was a good king for listening to Kyle when he came with the truth. And the king, Tweet Tweet, got a good lunch that day, too. Well, Tweet Tweet, I don't think the evil Damon tasted so good, Tweet Tweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow... There was a lot for you kids to learn from this story. Discuss it with your mom and dad and other siblings and find some other lessons in it. Right now, we have to go. This is Suhaila. See you next time, inshallah, on story time. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, tweet tweet. Assalamu alaikum, tweet tweet. It's story time with Suhail.